The average person is exposed to trillions of germs and bacteria throughout their lifetime. For most of us, this is not a problem. But for one courageous young man, this can be life-threatening. Little Randy Usick was born without the lymphatic system. Sure, he has blood and bone and flesh, but no little army of defenders to help protect him against the ravages of disease. Hello, I'm Stan Byerman, and this is Heroic Americans, where we look into the lives of Americans who are heroic. What makes a person heroic? Not just being an American, I can tell you that. Being heroic takes a lot of heroism, and little Randy Usick personifies this heroism. Let's begin our story with Randy's parents. Mr. and Mrs. Usick, thank you so much for joining us today. Your story is truly an inspirational it's one. It's our pleasure. <laughs> I understand that his condition requires quite a bit of financial assistance. And yet, you have some financial burdens. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. Um, I worked at a chicken nugget receiving plant. Um, and he got laid off. Hold on. Hold on a second. I was going to get there. Sorry. I got laid off. And, uh, and he cried. It, well, a lot. You know, I, I was sad. I definitely had... A lot. Were Being tears. laid off can be a very, very difficult thing. A lot. I was a good job. Uh, didn't pay really anything. Um, we had lots of chicken nuggets. Yeah, uh, not a lot of sauces. Yeah, but they laid me off. They were bastards. Bastards. Yeah. So money was tight. Yeah. Well, you said it. <laughs> yeah. And it was about that time, you know, once Henry actually stopped crying, because I really didn't notice Randy much during that period of time. But he finally calmed down. <laughs> and then um, we I noticed wish. that there was something wrong with Randy. I think it may have been going on for a while. Tell us a little bit about Randy's condition. Well, we brought him to the free clinic, and they were nice, even though it was free. They yes. diagnosed Randy with a whole series of, of things, and it started with the measles, and then the mumps, and then the chicken pox, the small pox, um, something called the rooster pox, but I had never heard of that. Yeah, and then um, scurvy, and then scabies, and then there were a few more things. Oh, well, I, I understand, okay. but with Randy having so many health problems, surely the doctors could pinpoint one particular thing. Well, I'm not sure what pinpoint means, but upon further investigation, they noticed that he had no, he had no lymph, he had no limp. Lymphatic, lymphatic system. system. I'm sorry. I, lymphatic system, thank you. So then they, they suggested that um, we get one of those fancy high price bubbles. You know, the kind of, that all the rich bubble boys. The kind that cost money get that you can't have. get with food stamps. Yeah. We couldn't afford that. I can. Because, you know, I mean, I've Henry's got. Henry's not working. I've got trench foot. And he's I, not looking for a job. But then one day, well, Henry was being lazy and he didn't take the trash out. So I took the trash out. And that was when I got the idea. And what an idea it was. Innovative, recyclable, and cheap. This ordinary trash bag allows Randy the freedom to do everyday things, like playing sports. He makes an impact on the game, even if it isn't a positive one. Sure, he's not the best swimmer, but Randy still makes a splash. Everyday tasks that we all take for granted can be huge obstacles for the health challenged. This may mean that Randy has to get up earlier than the average kid. But Randy Usick isn't your average kid. Randy is special, and special people need to do special things to be average. Creativity is Randy's middle name. Randy goes through his morning routine like any other child. He showers. He puts on his shoes one foot at a time. He even sets aside some quality time to bond with the family cat. Like any other kid, Randy enjoys a nice hearty bowl of his favorite sugary cereal. Then, with the help of his mother, he's off to school. But if you haven't been paying attention, Randy does all this in a trash bag. Which one would have to presume is more difficult? 
Some people may say that sounds like an awful lot of work. Why not just let the kid die? But we don't talk to those people. Who was the third president? We talk to people at Randy's school who Anyone? say Randy isn't much of a student. His teachers say he doesn't really participate. School officials say they don't have the resources to hold Randy's hand all of the time. Apparently, you have to be in a wheelchair for the state to care about you. Let me ask you this. Do you find yourself babying Randy since his everyday life is so challenging? Uh, no, no, not at all. Randy has chores to do, and he's expected to do those chores in a timely fashion. You sound like parents that truly love your child. Yeah. Yeah, I love Randy, but I am not going to let him turn into somebody who is wimpy. Wimpy? Wimpy, I... Wimpy. And Randy is certainly not wimpy. He doesn't let his disability hamper him in any way. He hangs his own laundry up to dry. He walks the family dog. He even earns extra cash clipping the neighbor's hedges. And he does it all with a smile on his face. One thing I can say about my time spent with the Yusuk family is that I'll take a little piece of Randy with me. Not literally, of course. Tragically, during the course of our interviews, little Randy Yusuk died. He was mistaken for trash and thrown into the back of a garbage truck, where he was crushed. He died instantly. Sort of. But even in death we can learn something from little Randy Usyk, the little boy in the trash bag. For heroic Americans, I'm Stan Byerman.